Hi there, Simon Stokes here at Subsign Academy, and in this video, I just want to go through some little automation tricks. Now, you're doing automation all the time when you are arranging your track, so it's really handy to know, first of all, the shortcuts, make it nice and fast, and secondly, just the little tips and tricks that can sort of save you a lot of time when you're trying to fiddle around, and especially when we're editing automation that we've, we've played in like this. So if you remember from a couple of videos ago, as long as nothing is in record on the right-hand side, none of our tracks are armed for recording. Whenever you're in arrangement record, everything you touch automates. So if I grab this control here, then I'm drawing in automation. And you can see that when you do that, you get a lot of different points. Um, and sometimes that could be a little bit fiddly to try and get it to do what you want it to do. Um, so that's what we're gonna look at in this one. First of all, we can delete these points here very simply. So we can just drag over them and right click and delete clear envelope um, and that will get rid of the automation. If I undo and bring it back, you can also just backspace. Now, this is something that people get confused with a little bit. Since Live 10, you can select just the automation by dragging over it and that lets you delete it by hitting backspace. But remember, if you want to delete the clip as well, then you drag up and you make sure that clip is selected too. Now when I backspace, I delete the clip and the automation at the same time. So that's worth remembering is that uh, sometimes you might want to do just one, um, like just deleting the automation. Just don't select the clip in that point. You can just drag to here, not up there. Um, you might want to do it the other way around as well. Leave the automation, but delete the clip. To do that, we've got a little automation lock button here. So this little uh, padlock means that the automation will just always stay on that track. So if I drag over the clip now and backspace, the clip disappears, but the automation remains. Now that can be really handy if, say for example, um, I want to take this section here and duplicate the clip itself. Now at the moment, when I duplicate it, the automation goes as well. Um, so if I put automation lock on, now when I duplicate this clip, let's just select it again, the clip will duplicate, but the automation won't. Now that can be really handy if, say for example, um, we've got, let's just tweak this one somehow. Let's just say I've changed a little bit of this. I don't really know what I'm doing to that actually but it'll be fine, I'm sure. So um, if I now duplicate this with the new pattern, say I've changed the pattern of my, my whole um, track that I want to have for the roads in this instance, and without automation lock on, if I duplicate along, I overwrite all of the nice automation that I've got in, keep an automation lock on, now I can, I can duplicate over it and I don't lose that automation. So um, that's well handy, that one. That's really useful to kind of remit, keep in mind. Um, I use that all the time for work and I flick it on and off all the time. So uh, just remember that's there. So that's to do with kind of removing automation. We've also got, just for editing it, for example, if I, if I zoom in on this reverb automation that I've added here. Um, now I'll take automation lock off a sec. Now remember, we've got pencil mode or draw mode. Um, so that's B on your keyboard to flick in and out of that. When we're in draw mode, the automation, any automation we draw snaps to the grid. This is really handy for turning a device on or off right on time, or just for kind of drawing stepped patterns for things. Sometimes on filters and stuff like cool stepping can sound quite nice to chop, a, chop a, an element up. Um, let's just take that back to there. When you're not in draw mode, hit B here, now it becomes a little bit fiddly sometimes to kind of play with this automation. There's a lot of points in here just now. So it's really easy now in Live 10 to get rid of these. You used to have to do it, and if you're using Live 9, you hold down, sh click on a, one of these points and hold, and hold Shift, and you can drag over all the points. If you're in Live 10, you just grab any point and drag over points, and it removes them up to the next one. So that's um, very handy sometimes if you want to take a wiggly line and kind of make it into a straight line, which sometimes you do want to do. You'll also notice that when you drag over uh, automation like this, you get some extra little boxes at the top. So these ones here let you scale the automation, make it smaller, make it 
snap to the grid for example let's make it just fit into that zone there so it scales the whole thing and we can also scale it up and down as well to kind of get the exact automation pattern that we want and you can skew it as well so that it kind of starts at one point and comes down so there's loads of movement you can get on automation there so it's just uh, just something worth bearing in mind that so um, what else can we do we can obviously you can click to remove a point that's a very obvious one and um, we can move parts so if you see this is a flat part here see how this is a, we've got a lot of points moving the automation up and then we've got this kind of flat bar here now you used to again just grab this line and move it but it's all changed now again in, in live 10 so if you just want to hover near this line you see when you hover near it it goes blue you see that so when it hovers blue when you're hovering and it goes blue you can click and drag it up and down and you get um, the whole thing to move similarly if we take the whole lot here and hover near it it all goes blue and we can move the whole thing up and down and if you want to bring it all down you can drag it right to the bottom and it will just flatten it all out there so um, that's some really nice little tips things that you want to want to use um, Getting good at automation is going to save you a lot of time as you go through your arrangement um, and that's a few really handy things. One other little nice one is drawing in some automation shapes. So say for example we've got a filter frequency here, I'm going to click on filter frequency. This is on my master track. So let's say I want to automate this somehow. Um, I want it to come down and then go back up. Well instead of drawing all the points you could select a region and just right click and you'll see that you get a bunch of shapes that you can insert so you can insert a sine wave sort of shape you can insert a sawtooth down wave which is quite nice so say we had that coming down and then we had it going back up here now we've got you know quite dramatic maybe we can bring it up in the middle i could also make this scaled to there i could right click i could even copy this envelope just Control c command c and paste it again here so really nice quick ways you put experiment with the different shapes that are available and see what you can do because once you've got a nice shape that you like in your track let's take that and scale it down again you can just duplicate it Obviously, this is <laughs> going to sound pretty intense over my whole track. But you can get really nice movement on things just by doing that. So definitely worth experimenting around with. Just get used to all the little tricks that we've just showed you there. Try and integrate them into your productions as you go along. And uh, then move on to the next video.